Can you get away from our car? I can't hear you. This is the moment this man's ex-girlfriend acts crazy, begging him to come back to her at a gas station parking lot. Can you get away from our car? I can't hear you. Thank you. I can't hear you. What did I do to you? I'm not opening the door. Do she can hear me perfectly I fine. Can't hear you. She can hear me perfectly I can't fine. Y'all see, y'all see why. Because of me. Can you please come back? Can you please come back? Clearly from the woman's actions, the man refuses to leave the safety of his car. Unfortunately, as time continues, the woman's actions become more crazed. You tripping, bro. You tripping, bro. You tweaking, bro. You gonna get the police card. You gonna get the police card. You tripping, bro. I'm finna do. Cause the police finna come. It's Wrong uncertain you, what's the outcome of this incident, but you hopefully tripping, the woman gets the help she needs you, and the man won't no, have to I'm deal with her nothing, anymore. Bro. I just left so you didn't call the police on me again. Now, I know you can't necessarily vet thoroughly, right? You can't, unless you do like a actual background check and vet her to the very extent of going through like psych evals, doing reference checks, you know, all the extra mileage shit that you really shouldn't do in a relationship, but unfortunately, this is something you probably have to do given these circumstances. Fellas, let me break this down to you. When your pull touch her soul, you are in control. And unfortunately, if you hit that bottom and you try to leave this chick, she's gonna go crazy. <laughs> she's gonna go crazy. This is why it's super important to get an understanding of who you're sleeping with and who you're spending your time with because if not, you could set yourself up for some very, very damaging effects, i.e. case in point, this situation here. Now, thankfully for this gentleman, he maintained his composure, he didn't freak out, and he probably did the right thing, i.e. call the police and call the proper authorities in order to get this situation handled. However, the unfortunate part is that when you think about the mental health crisis that our generation is currently going through, millennials, Gen Z, and probably some of the older folks as well, when you take a look at the mental health crisis we're going through, it's prevalent and it's, it's suffice to say that in today's day and age, you're probably better off being celibate. And as wild as that sounds, what I'm really trying to get at here is the ramifications that you might have if you sleep with someone who may not be mentally healthy, such as said woman here banging her head on the window, again, you can have some pretty damaging effects happen to your life. Guys, be careful, man. I know we all wanna have sex, we all wanna have fun, we all want to soak our wild oats, per se. But if you do it with the wrong person, you will live to regret it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them what you did, though. Tell them what you did. All right. So I had a girl, and, uh, and he's yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, most. Like, 
Yeah, tell the truth. Doing the most because I... You, because you get tripped I, up on your words because you ain't No, because you're doing the tell most. Me. You're doing the tell most. Me. Are you seriously throwing my stuff? Are you putting all my stuff out the door? What are you doing? Because you have to leave. You're not staying here and you think you finna disrespect me like I'm that. not staying here. No. But you, this is my house, but you finna leave. You finna leave if you're not gonna respect me, though. That's what you're I told do. you. I was honest. This is what, look, and people want honesty, right? This is this is what you get for being honest. The, the, like, the, are you about to put my the, stuff the, down? I'm the, not going nowhere, the though. The little stuff you do have. But I'm not can... going on <laughs> little stuff I have. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? To, what are you doing? You. No, I, I can't believe, believe you. you. Look I at you. Look at you, him. Bro. Look, look. Insecure. I, insecure. I'm insecure. Insecure. Cause you, cause you I didn't on cheat me. on you. It, I did not cheat oh, on you. Because it was a, it was a woman. I didn't. Yes. It was a woman. That's yep. why. It, that's why it's not cheating. And yes. I'm insecure because of that. Yes, man. Look. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you going ballistic, putting all my stuff. By the door? Because you think this like, is a what's game. What's wrong with you? You think this is really a game. I can't believe you. I a game. Believe. I can't. You, you, you really need to get out. Can you I put my you. stuff back in the closet? You need to get out for put real. Put my stuff back. I can't believe that you think. And I can't believe that you're doing all of this. And you calling me insecure. Yeah, insecure. And the fact insecure. that you're recording me shows me that you have no remorse and no respect for me at all. None at all. No. I want you to see how you look. Because doing what? the most, because I had a little too much to drink and had oh, a little true. fun with a friend. Okay, and you call it fun, and I'm insecure because of that, right? Yeah. And you think this? You think I? You think I'm supposed to be okay with that? There's no respect in our relationship. It's no respect. Maybe. I was honest. Are you serious right now? Keith, come pick my stuff up. Come pick my stuff up. Come, would it come, put put my stuff down? Please. Are you serious? Please. Put Please. my stone. Can you put my stuff down? All right. Bro, I cannot believe you. You gonna be the one picking it up, so it's cool. It's cool. You gonna be the one putting it back. You gonna be the one putting it back. I'm not going out. nowhere. You need to get I'm out. not going you need anywhere. To get out and get that no. phone out of my face, bro. No. For real, I'm not playing with you. What are you gonna do about it? What you gonna get, do about it, bro? You need to get out, bro. Get out. You need to get out. I'm not playing <laughs> you with you. You are so out. insecure, bro. So let's get one thing straight. Just because you had fun with another woman, and you're a woman does not mean that you didn't cheat. You cheated. And what blows my mind is that the fact that she can go ahead and try to gaslight him into thinking that this was just an honest mistake in hopes that he'll keep her there is even more mind boggling. I'm trying to figure out where we went wrong as a, as a society. Where did we deviate into this realm of delusion as to where women feel as though they can treat a man however they want literally be with the man, do whatever they want, but at the same time, expect that man to treat them with respect and understand the bullshit that they put that man through. What's fucking crazy to me, even crazier I would say, is the fact that she can stand there and try to convince him that she wasn't cheating just because it was with a woman. Now let's say the roles were reversed. Let's say, and God forbid, let's say the guy decided to have too much to drink and you know, just casually sleep with his friend. Do you not hear how crazy that sounds? Like just let that ruminate in your brain for a second. That sounds fucking nuts, right? Now do you think she would be willing to stand there and try to reconcile, quote unquote reconcile, because really she's just gaslighting him. She's not even trying to explain herself or even apologize, which is on top of everything else is probably the most flabbergasting part of this entire debacle. Like you're not going to, at the very least, explain how that situation happened. You just simply blame it on the alcohol. Okay, Jamie Foxx. Like, what are we doing? What are y'all doing? What are y'all trying to do? Ladies, bisexual ladies, leave your thoughts in the comments below because I, and I'm pretty sure the rest of us fellas, need to know just what the fuck y'all are thinking. 
Because cheating is cheating, regardless if it's with another man or if it's with another woman. Cheating is cheating. So oh, the other day I came across this video of this uh, young man talking about he wanted to try to date this woman. And I guess upon dating her or speaking with her, she hit him with the 90 day rule. Meaning that for 90 days, she's not having sex with him. So he turn, in turns turn around and give her a 90 day rule saying that he's not going to spend no money on her. If a woman comes to you and hits you with a 90 day rule, what that lady say? She don't like you. Now, I've never had a woman give me a 90 day rule because <laughs> I wouldn't stick around for it. <laughs> now, guys, if you think she's giving you a 90 day rule because, you know, she wants to maintain her purity or she wants to see what your true intentions are, charge it to the game, brother, because the real reason why she's doing that is because she's trying to figure out if she's attracted to you. And honestly speaking, if we know anything about human nature, we know true attraction can't be debated. It's not something that you have to figure out. If you're attracted to someone, you're attracted to them. So my personal opinion, if she's giving you that 90 day rule, especially if she's not a virgin and she's giving you that 90 day rule, you definitely need to get the fuck up out of there because here's the logic. And on top of that, I had a couple people in the, the short that I posted, I had a couple people comment on this and they tried to say that this is a good idea because most of the women that employ this rule are more than likely women who are no longer virgins, but they no longer want to waste their time. Ma'am, you had more than enough time to think about that and you had more than enough time to maintain your celibacy if that's something that you truly wanted. The reality of it is this women or at least some women if not i'd say most all women they want to give you this 90 day rule so they can get advantages and take advantage of your finances and what's wild to me is that these women are willing to go celibate not give you anything that you're actually looking for for those 90 days but then expect you to come up out of your pocket and provide the provider role for them meanwhile you're being treated like a friend Fam, go where you're wanted and where you're celebrated. That's something I've always said to my friends. That's something that's been said to me, to my brothers. Go where the women actually like you, where they find you attractive. Now, is it gonna be the women that you actually like? I don't know, maybe not, but my theory is go where you're wanted, not where you're tolerated. And trust me, I know with those things considered, you might think that you're gonna run into some <laughs> gargoyles, but for the most part, you can find attractive women who will be attracted to you off the bat from a animalistic perspective, not some like, oh, let me take these 90 days to figure out if me and him are actually compatible. Now, in hindsight, that might actually be the mature thing to do. But if you're not a virgin, you've kind of already used that card. Like you, you, you can't go back. You can't unvirgin yourself. You know, there, there's no being celibate after losing your virginity does not necessarily make you a virgin again. So, with that information, gentlemen, do what you will. Hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> One thing before we go. Um, do you put out on the first date? No. Okay. No problem. Um, so are we splitting the bill for today? <laughs> Absolutely not. Perfect. That's all I needed to know. Now this is a little cheeky, but ladies, the facts remain the same. You let some guys clap you for free. Meanwhile, the rest of the guys have to take you out on dates, five course meals, get you flowers, do all this extra and jump through all these hoops to get something that you willingly give away for free. Why?